Hi, um, I'm Steve Corbett. We're stood in the middle of railway field here at Stow Longer. Um, this field this year is the first year for this particular project. We're looking at stale seedbed techniques, winter spring wheats, hybrid rye, cover crops and mustard. All of that uh, to see what control of black grass uh, we can get uh, when uh, these crops are grown amongst uh, that particular weed. Let's consider how these crops uh, looked a few weeks ago and to assess the effects of that black grass on the yields. A prime example of the challenge we face with black grass, here you can see one plant producing around about 4,000 seeds. Now we've got to get those seeds to grow and when we started this trial last year we were in a very dry period so we went through August, September right and through to, to uh, October before we got any amount of moisture. So forcing that black grass seed, putting in contact with soil and moisture is vitally important. Various methods of trying to force the black grass to uh, germinate. The first one we used here was the stubble rake and in that dry period last year this didn't actually produce many black grass plants during that early phase. The second of the treatments was where we brought in introduced a heliodor machine. So this is a disc, a light disc cultivation, followed by a press unit, getting good seed soil contact. Here we saw uh, certainly an improvement, in fact our first marked improvement in terms of numbers of black grass plants that actually germinated from this system. Trying to further refine this heliodor system, we've actually introduced a role after the heliodor between the glyphosate applications. In this year, this season, we didn't actually see an improvement in terms of the number of black grass that we got to germinate. Having achieved the first flush, the question then is when to apply the glyphosate applications and how many? And in our experience, when you get your first flush, one, two leaf black grass, that's the time to take out that first flush with that first glyphosate application. Then um, you'll find that the black grass will re come repeatedly. Each flush, two, three leaves, again, remove that application. The challenge really is to try and get two, three flushes killed before we drill our wheat. Treatment six in this case is where we've introduced and we've actually drilled earlier. This is a end of September drilling with a Clayton Direct drill. Here, we're very reliant on those herbicide programs coming together and working well. So the timing of them is crucial. We've got an early timed a uh, well-timed pre-M followed by a, a growth stage 12, 13 post-M application because we must get that herbicide uh, program working for us. Railway field hadn't been ploughed for the last nine years or deep cultivated, so this is the first time in treatment seven we actually see a deep cultivation brought in. So we've taken the black grass seed from that top soil profile, buried it deeper. The impact of this will now trap over the next few years. We expect there to be, certainly in year one, a good interaction between the control of black grass and that cultivation. Section eight is where we brought the ploughing now after several years of non-ploughing. Here we're trying to fully invert and bury as much black grass seed as we possibly can and take it out of the germination zone. With Lemkin's help, we produced a good plough guide which helps us to set this plough and maximise the benefits from this cultivation technique. Another option in the fight against black grass is spring cropping. In this particular trial, we've used spring wheat as the crop example. Many questions posed by farmers and visiting agronomists uh, over the last year with regard to the cover crop situation. For example, mustards, uh, phacelias, etc. And the questions posed really is, what effects on black grass and will it help the control of the problem weed? The final section looks at hybrid rye and here we see a plant that's extremely competitive particularly in that early spring growing phase. So it competes very very well with the blackgrass and other weeds and as a very interesting aspect in terms of its usage within the developing energy market. The experiment will continue into year two where we will include grass and wildfire mixtures as part of the overall trial concept. This project is one of many that we've conducted this year alone um, within the Agri R&D team, um, focusing this time on black grass, black grass control within the arable crop sector. 
If you want further information, please contact us at Throes Farm or your local agronomist.